How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and to another tech news video. Now we got a bunch of stuff to go over and starting off with the ASUS ROG Thor 1000 Watt Platinum 2 power supply was announced a few months back, deeming that it would actually have a PCI Express of 5 ready support, meaning that it's going to have the new 12 pin power connector that delivers up to 600 watts of power. In other words, the 12 pin power connector is compatible with NVIDIA's RTX 30 a series of Founders Edition cards that does again feature that 12 up and connection which was the first GPUs to feature it. The cable is identical and also supplies the same amount of power meaning that Nvidia implemented the next gen connector nearly more than a year before the standard has even been shown. This is obviously meant for the new RTX 3090 Ti which we all know is going to just use a ton of power rated to up to 400 50 watts but it's going to definitely be a more than that then uh, next up a major flaw in uh, the inside h2o uafi firmware could allow remote attackers admin privileges uh, through uh, the interface this was discovered by binarily uh, the firmware protector for a company uh, that looks into software vulnerabilities microsoft intel amd lenovo asus hp and a few other companies do prefer using the inside h2o uafi firmware so they could be at risk a total of 23 flaws have been detected. 10 of those could allow for a very nasty privilege hacks. 12 could exploit your PC through a memory corruption flaws in a system management mode. And a one is a memory corruption vulnerability inside the drive execution environment. But luckily they're already working on a fix. However, you will need to update your BIOS then. Now, speaking of hacking, thieves made off with 120,000 RAM to Eve, which is equivalent to $324 million. The hackers stole this from a wormhole, a platform providing a connection for the transfer of cryptocurrencies between a different decentralized finance blockchain networks. The developers that are behind the popular blockchain bridge have offered the hackers a $10 million bug bounty for info about the exploit and returning the stolen cryptocurrencies. Again, this is not the first time we're hearing about this it happens every now and then but luckily because everything is public knowledge on the blockchain they'll be able to track everything straight where it goes and hopefully if the the hackers don't return the, the cryptocurrencies the ethereum they'll be able to see where it goes and hopefully at least block them from actually selling them on exchanges but of course there are other ways also then and next up starlink has now announced it's a new starlink a premium antenna and service this now offers a double the speeds from the standard of 10 to 20 megabits a second and now goes up to 20 to 40 megabits a second this doesn't come cheap however starlink premium will cost a two thousand five $500 for the antenna and a $500 a month fee. To reserve the premium dish, you will need to flock out $500 in for the deposit. Starlink says that the, their new tier targets are small offices, storefronts, and super users across the globe. Though I don't think that classifies as super users, in my opinion. Now, I still don't think that you're going to get that dino protection for the premium service, but luckily, still no mention on the lion protection again for here in South Africa. <laughs> so we're gonna be safe. And then next up, Sony fans rejoice. After a few delays, Gran Turismo 7 is finally getting a launch next month. Sony has given us some new gameplay videos going over most of the basics in the game. We get to see some of the game's 400 plus vehicles, 34 locations, 90 track layouts, and some quirky additions for car lovers. For example, there's the GT Cafe where you'll be able to chat with creators of legendary cars and complete menus of challenges for rewards. There's also a variety of ways to acquire cars this time around, including a used car dealership where you can buy unique old rides at a discount. We also saw some information about the game's detailed weather simulation, puddle for animation, star maps, and also car handling.
Then uh, next up, Intel is maybe coming to our rescue by apparently making a, a Bitcoin mining chip to save GPUs for gamers. Intel hasn't said anything publicly yet, but reports at Tom's Hardware noticed that Team Blue is set to give a presentation about the new Bonanza mine processor at the 2022 International Solid State Circuit Convention. The mentioner chip is the ultra-low voltage energy efficient Bitcoin mining ASIC. Intel already teased the chip last year when the GPU chief said in a live stream that the company is working on a specialized crypto mining hardware. Intel had previously filed a patent for a processing system using SHA-256. Then next up, Battlefield 2042 has been a disappointment, a topic we already touched on. Another big oof now is that the Season 1 update has been delayed till early summer or for here in South Africa, early winter. This was supposed to be the first major update for the game. It is, however, not all bad news as DICE revealed a plan to fix core issues for the game in the upcoming months. The first of these updates will arrive in early March, containing a refresh of the inner game scoreboard, a VoIP, and a better gameplay with some other feedback based improvements. Improvements. And then lastly, Panasonic is apparently now going to be making a newer, cheaper batteries for Tesla. The 4680 battery holds more than five times the capacity of the smaller 1865 and a 2170 cells Panasonic is currently supplying for a Tesla, meaning that fewer cells and related parts are going to be needed for an EV, which then has the potential of lowering overall cost. Elon Musk said that the batteries are a massive break through for a cell technology. This will now make it possible for Tesla to produce EVs that will sell for that $25,000 price tag. It'll probably be more than that because of the shortages and everything. And especially for here in South Africa, that's going to be like a million rand, unfortunately. Pretty much two to three times what it actually should be. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. If you have any other news topics you want me to cover, let us know in our Discord linked down below below and if you guys have any other videos you want me to take a look at also let me know down in the comments below but anyway thanks for watching guys and i will take all of you next time cheers guys